Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to put graphics over your drone footage like this. I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro for this tutorial, so let's get going. All right, so for this example, I have dropped in a full video. Normally you would have all your separate clips in here, but I'm going to have to cut um, a clip out of this, which just shows you that you can do this if you if it was an afterthought, if you don't have any of the raw footage left, if your timeline is already deleted, you could bring back in that uh, full video and just break up the clip like I'm going to do here. I want to highlight just this field right here. Let's do this as an example. Say they want to maybe parcel out this property. The house is sitting right here, but say they want to just sell this property. So we want to highlight this. So what we need to do is find where that clip starts, which is right here. I'm going to click B for the blade tool, and we're just going to cut, and we're going to come over here and come over to this side right where the video ends and click again. Now this is the clip that we want to work with to put that overlay on. So all I want to do is I want I need to duplicate this. So a really easy way to do that is hold down option and we're going to click on this clip and drag it up and it's going to duplicate it. Now we want to take the audio out of this one so I'm just going to drop that down. So now what we need to do is we need to put that gradient on but we're going to do it on the layer underneath. So we got to come over here to our effects panel and we're going to look for color and click on color and we're going to come down here to tint click and drag that and we're just going to lay it over the bottom here so now we can see what we're working with let's click on the top layer and hit V to hide that layer so we can see what color now come back up here to your panel make sure the bottom layer is selected now and now we can click on our tint and move this around you know seeing what type what color tint you want I am gonna go with like a purple I always think that stands out so if you did green it really wouldn't stand out too good against green foliage so pick a color that's gonna really pop and I'm gonna pick that and again you can adjust the tint later and I'll show you how to do that or the opacity I mean so we'll just put something like that you can even drop this down and change this over here so you just gotta find something that's gonna stand out and for this example we'll leave it right there and then close that out now we need to click on the top layer and click V again to reveal it come all the way over to the very beginning of your clip here and now we have to find the masking tool so click on masks and we're gonna hit draw mask hold down and drag it over on top of this timeline now we have our little pen tool make sure you are starting at the very beginning of your top clip right here and we're gonna just start clipping clicking on our points highlighting that property line I'm gonna make it simple and again this is gonna be easier if you're doing a flyover of a property instead of like a parallax or a orbital shot so and then you wanna finish the selection off now this isn't what we want. We want this to be highlighted and nothing else. So you got to come over here to the draw mask and click on where it says invert mask. Click on this little box. Check that and it'll invert it. So now if we play this, it has highlighted that property. But if you notice that it started to move on us. Now that is a really easy fix. And again, this is why this is easy if you're just doing a really slow flyover of property. I'll show you a quick way to fix that. Start at the beginning of the clip. We're going to come over here where it says control points. You can click this. You don't want to mess with any of these, so you don't even have to click that download arrow. But we're just going to click this little uh, diamond here with an X on it. That's called a keyframe. You're going to click on that, and then we're going to come to the very end of it, and then you're going to have to hit the left arrow key to get back onto it. This is where you want to make an adjustment to your, your outline there making sure that you have like basically what we're doing is reshifting it and it's going to automatically put in keyframes it's going to move it every frame well this is just a fast way to do it so you don't have to do every frame it'll guesstimate how see how that started to move now and adjust it if we play that back see how it's forming there we go now what if you don't like it just 
popping right out there. We want to have that fade a little bit. So here's another trick I can do. We're going to start at the beginning right here. Come over here to fill opacity. And we're going to click the keyframe on this. Let's drop the opacity all the way down. And we're going to just take our right arrow and move in like three frames. So one, two, three. And then we're going to take our fill pat opacity and bring it up to wherever you want that opacity. I say right about there looks good. And now we're going to come all the way to the end, highlight it, and we're going to go in one, two, three, make another keyframe. Don't do anything with the opacity yet. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. Yep, three was at the very end. And then take the opacity and drop it all the way down. Now, if we play that bag, it should fade in slightly and then fade out. Now, you can do, you can go in farther and experiment with that. Uh, however, you know, how fast or slow you want it to fade in. And the other thing, too, is if you want your, if it's a little too, um, let me click off of this right here. If you notice that these are a little too harsh, like you want to smooth those out a little bit, make sure again that this the top layer is selected and we're going to come down here to feather and be careful with this because it does a drastic change. So negative one might soften those edges a little bit. Let's try negative two, negative three. See if we go, yeah, see if you go to negative four. We'll just bring it down negative. 11 just for the sake of this tutorial it softens it up a little bit and there you go all right so that's a quick and easy way in final cut pro to put overlays on top of your drone footage without using any software uh, if you have any questions leave me a comment i read every comment we'll see you in the next video guys Bye bye